2019 Mercedes-Benz G-Class SUV Review The good points of Mercedes-Benz G-Class SUV Go anywhere off-road ability Good they are driving on road too Indestructible quality Generous equipment spec The bad points of Mercedes-Benz G-Class SUV very expensive to buy. Dot dot and run. Restricted engine lineup. A little ostentatious. The Mercedes Benz G Class would be the toughest, muddiest Merc you should buy today. It's a correct 4x4 from your old school, as capable moto crosses anything from Land Rover Raw or Jeep. Nevertheless the new model launching in summer 2018 adds a welcome a higher level polish to restore more viable as being a daily driver on road too. Buy, Mercedes-Benz G-Class cars available. Don't mistake this for the lifestyle crossover. The latest Mercedes G-Class, commonly known as by devotees because G-Wigen, a label never officially found in Britain, is undoubtedly an altogether much more serious off-roader and features some proper mud scrambling hardware on top of that. The trio of Go Anywhere differential locks, for better traction, low-range transfer gearbox, for scaling one-to-one -one mountains, and separate, ladder frame chassis, a tougher foundation for off-roading, are indications it is no mere posing machine. Sadly, everything the technical complication includes it's a really expensive car. Only two Versios now are available in the UK, the moderately pragmatic G350D diesel as well as the hilarious AMG G63, with pricing to the former starting just shy of £100,000. Mercedes-Benz UK is usually considering adding the G500 petrol version later on, but there's no word on when that will arrive. Whichever you end up picking, you'll need deep pockets to operate a G-Class. No wonder it's described as alternative purchase to some supercar in a very rich person's dream garage, in the event you're thinking about buying one, opt for Bentley's Bentayga, Porsche Cayenne or perhaps the full fat Range Rover for outright performance and polish, or even a high-end Toyota Land Cruiser for proper off-road credentials. Mercedes-Benz G-Class, the cruel choice. You only have to look with the perpendicular styling to grasp the G does things just a little differently. That bluff, upright styling makes this 4x4 stand out on the crowd and in addition contributes to an extremely roomy cabin. Where the last generation G-Class was surprisingly cramped, the newest one is bigger in every key dimensions, so that it is roomy enough for a few full-sized adults see that in row of seats, although you'll find more space from the GLE. With no third row seating available, this car is often a 5-seater. The boot is really a decent size. But simply remember there's a side hinge tailgate which can be very heavy due to the full-size spare wheel bolted to your door. It's also hinged around the left so that it is awkward for loading in the event you've parked curbside from the UK. Thankfully, the G-Class carries a clever strut system store the tailgate open, in order to open it rather than worry it might slam shut on you inside a gust of wind. Limited Mercedes-Benz G-Class engine range buyers considering a G-Class have an extremely simple grocery list as you'll find only two engines available. Topping the range would be the Top Dog AMG G63 packing a 4.0 litre by turbo V8 sending a dizzying 585 horsepower and 850 newton meters of pulling capability to all four wheels. It is not painstaking car. Performance should be felt to become believed. Hardly any 4x4s can scurry from 0 to 62 miles per hour in a mere 4.5 seconds. It's as quick as numerous Porsches, and there's a superbly rich, baritone V8 soundtrack to accompany the warp speed acceleration. The penalty is poor fuel economy. Mercedes-Benz quotes just shy of 22 miles per gallon for the combined fuel efficiency cycle, but a realistic figure probably will plummet low into the teens. Visits towards the forecourt is going to be frequent and expensive. More pragmatic, not to the G-Class can be a car many would choose rationally, maybe the G350D obtainable in showrooms from May 2019. With a 2.9-litre inline six-cylinder engine and a modest 286 horsepower output, 
the G350D could crack the 0 to 62 miles per hour benchmark in 7.4 seconds, but comes with a on-paper claim of 29.4 miles per gallon. Expect mid-20s from the real world. Low down on what the G-Class drives. We detail the ride and handling, as well as its extraordinary off-road ability, in your detailed analysis lower down this site. Mercedes-Benz G-Class, an electrified future. Despite its old-fashioned charm, the adoption of recent underpinnings implies that as technology advances, the Mercedes-Benz G-Class can move with all the times, although nobody expects it'll have a near 40-year production run as the predecessor did. That signifies that electrification will end up part with the G-Class range within the next few years as Mercedes functions to lower the model's CO2 output. While a totally electric G-Class battery electric vehicle, BEV, is technically possible, this sort of version will only be considered if demand is known as sufficiently high. More likely can be a plug-in hybrid, FEF, version, perhaps which has a diesel engine similar to your combination Alwatchy available within the E-Class saloon and estate ranges. Don't expect that being on sale before 2020, though. Performance AMG G63 is incredibly powerful. 0 to 62 miles per hour within 4.5 seconds. Even the diesel G350D isn't slow. The Mercedes-Benz G-Class's performance is extraordinary for just a car meant to scale 45 degree inclines. Mercedes-Benz G-Class diesel engine From summer 2019, the somewhat more pragmatic number of a diesel power plant is again available within a G-Class. Quite weather reducing running costs is of primary concern for any G-Class customer where status and or go anywhere or ability are usually the influencing factors remains to become seen. Still, you'll be filling up slightly less often given its official claim of 29 miles per gallon within the combined cycle. Ignore the numerical portion of the G350D's model designation, it's not got a 3.5 litre engine. Instead, it's fitted with one of Mercedes' new generation of inline six cylinder motors that has a capacity of 2.9 litres. With 286 horsepower available. That's 41 horsepower over the equivalent engine to use predecessor, the G350D isn't slow, although it's heft and Nelson Mandela house-like aerodynamics see its top speed clip to 123 miles per hour, there's 600 newton meters of torque on tap between 1200 and 3200 revolutions per minute, turning it into easy to modulate slow speed driving when off-roading, or making good pace within the blacktop, 0 to 62 miles per hour is 7.4 seconds. Extraordinary. It's a smooth running and quiet engine too. That rich seam of torque makes overtaking maneuvers swift and secure, while junction pullaways never experience nervous the way it gains alacrity. It really enters into its own on long, motorway jaunts, sitting effortlessly with the limit, whilst efficiency boosting low revs. Around town it gives you effortless progress, the throttle pedal is very easy to modulate and it also works superbly in conjunction together with the adaptive cruise control package, essentially making urban driving a steering-only operation. Mercedes AMG G-Class Petrol Engine With the AMG G63 scintillating acceleration is guaranteed. It musters an amazing 585 horsepower and 850 newton meters by reviewing the twin-turbo V8. Combined with excellent traction on the standard four-wheel drive, it's enough to produce 0 to 62 miles per hour within 4.5 seconds and top speed is pegged at 137 miles per hour if you're feeling brave, and live near a German autobahn, it is possible to specify the optional AMG driver's package to boost the top speed to 149 miles per hour. All G-classes are automatic, without any manual transmission option. The 9G Tronic Auto Box has 9 ratios and changes gear seamlessly. Most cog swaps slur away inside background and you're simply really alert to the process of shifting ratios. The Mercedes G-Class is unusual in having a low-range transfer box, only obtainable at low speeds. It's such as a super low gear calibrated for off-road use, and is also great for extreme engine braking when descending a slope or extra grunt when climbing up steep hills. 
We'll discuss more off-roadability within the handling section below. Handling Built to scale mountains Exceptionally good off-road Significantly improved on-road, too. Old G-classes were a mess dynamically, they could have been nice at off-roading and street side posing, however they were not enjoyable cars drive an automobile. In fact, occasionally they were downright terrifying. Mercedes-Benz G-Class, on-road handling. The another one changes all of that. At last, the Mercedes G-Class feels at home in all of the typical circumstances. It will not wander all above the lanes over a motorway, the steering is accurate and you'll be able to place it precisely over a country lane, and also the ride is well judged, softening your road skies and acne usual for British roads. We can't recall a more substantial quantum leap from what went before. With the last car, that you were forever making excuses and reminded of the car's military origins. With the newest G-Class, that is no more necessary. It rides, handles and steers just like any other modern Mercedes SUV, and that we say that as being a compliment. The upright shape helps it be very an easy task to place for the road. One of the better features within the G will be the pair of indicator repeaters that rise outside the bonnet like bubble wrap, clearly defining the outer edges from the set square design. A parking camera and sensors are standard, making slotting into a space a cinch. Mercedes-Benz G-Class, off-road performance. Of course, anyone considering a G-Class is likely for being attracted by its off-roading ability. Here. It scores extremely highly. It is unique in having three locking differentials as well as a low range transfer case. The former are of help to prevent wheels spinning when on low grip surfaces, or dangling inside the air, should you're properly off road and tiptoeing over boulders, whilst the latter keeps you going even though you're scaling a 60 minute colon 1, or 45 degree, incline. Let's get technical briefly. Mercedes quotes 241 mm of ground clearance for driving over rocky terrain, you are able to wade through 700 mm of water, plus the G has impressive angles of ramp break over, 26 degrees, approach, 31 degrees, departure, 30 degrees, and side tilt, 35 degrees. Those figures are going to be largely meaningless to several watches. In case you do venture off-road by any means they will ensure that the G-Class is well equipped after you veer off tarmac. Tested it using a tough mountainside courses, at summer, along with winter on packed snow and ice, finding it mind-bendingly capable. You can toggle the differential locks on and off while you're driving at speeds as much as 30 miles per hour but we'd recommend getting instruction when you really fancy making the most on the Mercs Go Anywhere ability. We found the automobile's talents outshone our personal. Happily, everything traction and grunt implies that the Mercedes G-Class has impressive towing limits. A trailer, caravan or boat as much as 3.5 tons may be towed safely, if your trailer is braked, or 750 kilograms on a typical, unbraked trailer. All seasons tyres are standard fit. A fixed tow bar is standard on every UK registered model. And also the ESP stability system even features a program meant to stop trailers from snaking, which is often a welcome comfort blanket to people likely to carry heavy loads regularly. Mercedes Dynamic Select Dynamic Select is usually a drive mode selector, helping you to pick between comfort, sport, eco and individual. Flecking with the modes means you'll be able to set up the auto's throttle, engine transmission and suspension settings to provide a sportier drive or relax everything with a more laid-back gait. It works well and changes the character from the car noticeably. You may also set your preferences inside individual toggle, which is often a neat touch. Behind the wheel. A slick, modern interior. Much more space now. Digital dials, connectivity. Climb up to the G-Class's interior, it really is usually a climb for many individuals, and you're greeted by way of a cabin that feels considerably more in sync with modern Mercedes-Benz cars. In fact, you'd be forgiven for thinking they'd taken an E-Class cockpit and dumped it straight in. 
This is usually a major departure to the G-Class, earlier iterations that have always experienced a rather archaic, rudimentary vibe inside. No more. Most noticeable are definitely the twin 12.3-inch digital screens that dominate the dashboard, replacing the regular instruments and running the digital heart in the infotainment system. It ensures that many with the features we've become used to on bigger Mercedes-Benz cars at the moment are available for the G. So in case you delve into enough submenus, you are able to play with all the presentation of screens and flick between classic, sporty or progressive digital dials and there's a heap more personalization available. Thumb pads within the steering wheel let drivers read through menus within the move. It takes a bit getting used to, but it's one way of operating the command system. It is possible to also rely within the rotary controller inside central armrest, use voice control or physical hard buttons where available. It won't get you long to master your way around, though it can sometimes be somewhat fiddly. Each manufacturer's infotainment system works slightly differently and that we reckon which the Mercedes-Benz command setup is logical and very easy to navigate towards you around. The physical attributes in the G-Class cabin impress, too. This is often a well-made interior along with the choice of materials and build quality on the whole feel worthy from the lofty prices charged. The cabin is swathed in high quality leather and that we love the mechanical rifle bolt latching sound after you thunk the doors shut. You feel like you are ensconced inside the Bank of England vaults once the door closes. Poke around, though, and you'll find some few plastic finishes that happen to be below par for just a £100,000 car. The elevated driving position is nice, too. We found the product range of seat and tire adjustment fine to adapt to your range of body sizes. The chances are that you'll be capable of jetting comfortably easily and, as we've noted elsewhere, there can be an excellent view out. You really do possess a lofty vantage point, watching out over a lot of traffic. Comfort. Classy ambience throughout. Pick small wheels for much more comfort. Seats are incredibly pampering. In line together with the huge strides made from the rest from the G-Class package, refinement and comfort are noticeably improved with this generation model launched in 2018. Where the last G-Class would bounce and pogo down a road, this place flows with much greater poise. This is mainly down for the mechanical improvements. The modern suspension is far more biased towards on-road comfort compared to the off-road setup of earlier models. Bumps and lumps inside the tarmac are smothered through the chassis, and surely each dot six ton curb weight must help here, and the body movements are well controlled. The seats fitted towards the G-Class are impressively comfortable and hold you constantly in place during high-speed driving or off-roading. The stubby grab handle sprouting on the dashboard in front from the passenger seat is usually a nice touch and genuinely useful when climbing in. Both rows are heated and buyers wanting the supreme in seating comfort can decide the optional massaging active multi-contour seat for many serious spinal pampering. Mercedes-Benz G-Class Drive Modes Newly fitted double glazing has dramatically boosted refinement along with the engine noise, especially on the AMG's Vocal V8, is well within typical day-to-day -day driving. Only once the car is within sports mode does the exhaust spark up a soundtrack akin to your rumble you'd typically hear in an American drag race trip. Inevitably there exists some wind rustle being a result in the brick-like aerodynamics. This can be an extraordinarily upright car along with the drag coefficient of 0.54 makes this one of several least slippery shapes for cleaving the environment, on the detriment of wind noise and efficiency. At motorway speeds that you have to improve your voice a bit to counter wind noise. Equipment A well-equipped, luxurious car. Only two specs accessible in UK. Both compact with modern kit. Although there are two versions in the G-Class available, the complete specification with the less expensive G350D isn't confirmed with the time of publication, and this page is going to be updated accordingly in the future. Standard Mercedes-Benz G-Class Equipment The following features are typical standard fit for the flagship Mercedes-AMG G63. Heated, 
electrically adjustable front seats, three zone climate control, twin 12.3 inch digital screens, choice of 64 colors for ambient lighting, Burmester multi channel surround sound system stereo, 20 inch alloy wheels. Parktronic 360 degree parking camera. LED headlamps with auto dip. Electric sunroof. Smartphone integration with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Adaptive cruise control. Tow bar. Mercedes Benz G Class SUV. Optional extras. If that lavish equipment level isn't sufficient to your requirements, it is possible to also spec some options packs. AMG Night Package To personalize your AMG G63 further, Mercedes-Benz will sell you the AMG Night Package, which swells the alloy wheel size to 21 inches in diameter. It is possible to even trade as much as 22 inches of rims should you really desire to strut your stuff. Keep in mind that smaller rims will likely be better in the event you prioritize ride comfort or would like to head off-road. This styling pack also smokes the outdoors chrome detailing in obsidian black, to get a more menacing stance. Winter Package If you live within the countryside and wish a rapid defrost option, the Mercedes G-Class Winter Package sounds such as a smart buy. This features a heated windscreen as well as an auxiliary heater, which is usually programmed remotely to loosen up the cabin prior to set off. Both useful features to save lots of frosty fingers and bumps using a cold winter's morning. Safety G-Class safety factors are first rate. One from the safest 4x4s for sale. Five star rating from your own cap. The Mercedes-Benz G-Class is often a strong, robust car. Qualities reinforced if it was awarded a five star crash test rating by your own cap in 2019. There's a good amount of equipment geared towards making sure an accident doesn't happen from the first place. Much in the electronic architecture you'll find while on an E-Class or S-Class continues to be transferred over towards the G-Class, so you will discover watchful digital eyes monitoring traffic flow near you and this car will intervene whether or not this senses a positive change is likely. Electronic stability control is sophisticated enough to regulate skids and slides. While radar and cameras stop you driving with your lane, remind you of speed limits ahead and spot pedestrians or animals ahead, warning if they're gonna step into right onto your pathway, and in some cases braking automatically when you fail to react with time. The Mercedes-Benz G-Class's safety factors are boosted within the UK by standard fitment with the driving assistance package, a choice in mainland Europe. It bundles in radar-controlled cruise control which keeps your vehicle a set distance from your vehicle before, to help you drive and convoy without having to manage the pedals. This system now works in stop-start traffic, utilizing the sting outside of jams and roadworks. How many Isofix baby car seats can I fit within a Mercedes-Benz G-Class SUV? A couple of Isofix attachments within the two outer rear seats means you may easily attach several child seats within the back of a G-Class. Big, wide opening doors as well as the car's unusual height make sure fitting them is painless, it's quite liberating lacking to bend right down to sort each of the rigmarole of strapping your kids into their baby car seats. Interior and boot space. G-Class cabin more spacious. Rear seats not notably commodious, though. Boot reasonable, although not huge. The latest Mercedes-Benz G-Class is longer wider and taller than its predecessor, liberating more space for passengers. This is nice news, because outgoing G was embarrassingly cramped for this kind of large car. Extra elbow room is very noticeable and it is possible to sit four full-sized adults inside a G-Class, and due to an unusually low transmission tunnel, another benefit in the lander frame chassis, it is possible to realistically accommodate a fifth passenger within the rear middle seat, but legroom in the rear reaches a premium when the front seat occupants are tall. A range of storage cubbies, cup holders and compartments takes care of the ephemera of contemporary life, like keys, phones and wallets. 
A ski hatch permits you to carry long items inside car without recourse into a roof rack along with a net from the boot holds things. There's an enormous benefit for the perpendicular, set square styling here. The Mercedes-Benz G-Class is surprisingly all too easy to place around the road and park, as visibility is fantastic. Parking assist is standard about this off-roader, helping maneuvering having a range of ultrasonic sensors to produce sonar-like beeping while a 360-degree panoramic reversing camera assists when creeping backwards. The improved steering setup within the G-Class means it is going to steer into a space automatically in your command, the wheels spinning eerily relating to the fingers. These tools lower the worry factor when parking what remains an enormous, unwieldy SUV. Like for the Land Rover Defender or Toyota Land Cruiser, the Mercedes-Benz G-Class's tailgate has become side-hinged. This can make opening the boot slightly tricky, particularly from the UK since it's hinged for the left, as well as the door is extremely heavy. Blame the standard fit, full-size spare wheel bolted on. Thankfully, the gas strut has become intelligent enough to lock the tailgate setup no matter how open it is, to help you open it without worrying that it'll blow into a parked car, or trap your fingers. Once open, the boot size itself looks slightly disappointing when you're getting started. What seem like wide wallaches pinch the low out be noticeably on spare on both, leaving narrow boot space for the bags or dog. In fact, the subwoofer to the stereo is responsible for that intrusion around the left hand side, whilst the right hand lump gobbling your luggage space is fact the fuel tank. What remains is often a squarish 454 litres, little better than you'd get in the family hatchback. That figure swells to 667 litres in the event you pack for the roof line, or 1,941 while using seats folded. The rear seats do split within a 60 hours 40 minutes pattern, helping you to carry longer loads. Just be warned how the G-Class's heavy-duty off-roader construction shows that the rear seats don't fold entirely flat.